Everybody, a good morning to you. It's time for the first alert forecast update. A happy Friday, everyone. We've made it to the end of the work week. I would say school week as well, but of course, this has been at the end to many districts for the most part. Most kids on spring break this week following up Easter, and it's been an okay week overall. A bit of some uh, storm damage early Wednesday morning in spots, but otherwise, we've seen a good amount of tranquil weather. So let's continue onward to that. A uh, good morning again. I am WIS First Alert Meteorologist Tony Schiavaroli, and this is going to be just a very busy day around the region. At least Columbia in general, of course, around a USC. Going to be seeing the uh, big game later today. Got the Final Four matchup. Gamecocks taking on the NC State Wolfpack. So I'm sure many bars and restaurants will be busy. So let's continue to see how everyone is going about and about now. Of course, if you're not a sports person, understandably so. Not everyone is. But everyone, of course, is going to be uh, seeing a bit more of just some busy travels out on those roads. I want to make sure you are ready as we work to settle on in. Get you ready for any weekend activity and i just keep encouraging folks to get outdoors enjoy it it's going to be lovely look at this right now this is going to be what we're seeing a lot of over the next few days sunny skies things looking beautiful if you're hitting the roads you'll be needing that pair of shades for sure this is going to be just uh, to the south of columbia quick check here on i-26 we've been seeing uh, overall i-26 rolling along nicely this is exit 111 i want to pull up some of these temperatures here as we've started out the day pretty chilly even still holding tight right around 40 for Newberry, but that should quickly start to change. So the sun has been up for a little bit. We're finally starting to see more of these temperature sensors actually getting hit with the sun. And, you know, see, that's going to be a problem too, just depending on where more of these sensors are sometimes just by the angle of the sun, some of these uh, thermometers, everything with weather sensory data, it could still be in the shade, even though obviously, you know, it's sunny out there. But I digress. It just takes a little longer for them, some of these to warm up at the surface. Got a Columbia and Lexington, just shy still of 50. Sumter, though, already getting back above 50. Orangeburg is right there. Rounding things out towards the north, Camden is going to be settled in around the upper 40s, and uh, we'll see a lot of that for Manning as well. Getting into this, the tidbits. Wind speeds calm down, and that's going to be a big factor today because yesterday all of those winds really worked to churn up everything, the pollen, throwing more dust into the uh, air mass around us. So not the best thing if you're someone that suffers from allergies. That is going to be settling back. The only main thing thing that in terms of uh, a negative really works to uh, knock back our temperatures will be those winds calming down. And this is, of course, just a good lesson I like to go over as we go towards cooler air lingering into this weekend. So we'll focus on it more so for tomorrow morning. Today, we're settling back a lot of temperatures on average near 40, if not just a little bit above, continuing to rise into the day after those lows to the mid 60s. Pretty simple day, sunny and cool. Now going into Saturday morning, this is where things get, I wouldn't necessarily say tricky but a little bit more pressing for us here in the Midlands we're going to be seeing upper 30s but for our friends towards the upstate of South Carolina so if you get family friends up that way you happen to be traveling up that way to start this weekend actual lower 30s are possible and that means frost is possible not good as we're getting further into the growing season here so might need to see some uh, farmers a little bit of some spots uh, not struggling but scrambling to uh, protect some crops and vegetation. So uh, that's going to be something just to watch out for as we go into Saturday start. But of course, as the old story goes, as it has been, sunshine warms us right up into the afternoon as best as it can, still dealing with the northerly breeze, so we only get to mid-60s. But it's still going to be a lovely day, a great one for travel, an easy one to get out and about for. Sunday morning, we'll do it one more time. We'll get down near 40. Afternoon hours, though, listen up. Sunday, we'll get back to some low 70s. So we are going to see these temperatures take hold of a warming trend. We just got to be a bit patient here. It's not happening right now. The only thing in terms of warmer thoughts, this is what I'm thinking of. National Deep Dish Pizza Day. Chicago style is pretty good if you ever had it before. It's a bit heavy, but uh, you know what? It is good. It is a treat. Sometimes you'll need to have a slice or two of that heavy pizza. That is, yes, a national day today. We get mid-60s, and this is honestly going to be a day, as I said, with the game going on. It's a Friday. You know, a lot of local restaurants and bars being frequented. Not a bad day to go out and grab yourself a, a local slice from your favorite spot as well. Let's just see what you got as we get into the nighttime period. We got upper 30s. Those chilly lows again, I want to keep going over this. Because we see winds dying down, 
clear skies at night. You get that perfect combination for cool air, or colder air, to do what it wants to do, and that is sink, because that cold air sinks right down to the surface. You don't get a lot of winds mixing that up, so on a calm, clear night, you get more of that to settle back down. So easy 30s should find their way back to much of South Carolina, especially with chillier air into the upstate. Now, as we get onward into your weekend, still looking to see those temperatures try to rebound as nicely as they can, the mid-60s tomorrow, and then low 70s for Sunday. Whatever you're trying to get done, whatever you want to go outside and do, it is looking fantastic for this weekend. And of course, that's just a great bit of news because we don't need to see any events this weekend being postponed or canceled. Now, as we get into your first alert 10 day forecast, let's roll this on out. We see these temperatures continuing to try and rebound even more. Look at Monday, get a high near 80. That is where we see a southerly wind take over. So all of this just continuing with what will be the beauty of a forecast into your weekend activity. I encourage you to get out there. Please enjoy it, even if you need to have an extra light layer handy. Then as we look on towards next week, we will start to see a bit of a damper pattern settle in. Some low pressure should move towards the Midlands. I'm not too impressed with the really heavy rainfall potential overall, but we could just see the consistency of at least a few days where rain chances will be present. So we'll continue to keep you weather aware to that point as we look on to this weekend and beyond. But right now, we've just got to focus on a lot of sunshine to enjoy. And I hope you have enjoyed this live stream, everyone. Thank you for uh, tuning in again for your first alert forecast updates. You can always follow along here. Take a chapter of some uh, in-depth analysis at WISTV.com. Or as we're uh, going onward as well, if you want a little bit more of some news updates and to see what is going on locally or any big breaking national stories that you know happen towards the tail end and middle of this morning see if we have anything new for you you could always follow along on what's new this morning that is coming up on the live stream a little bit closer to nine o'clock thank you again for being here today your first alert forecast looking fantastic over the next few days appreciate you being here